Hi, and welcome to this edition of Standing Orders, a show where we give the EMT and paramedic immediately useful and practical information they can use in their daily practice of medicine. This week we're talking about stroke assessment as part of your evaluation and management of the altered mental status patient. Acute stroke, now often referred to as brain attack, is an all too common cause of death and disability in the United States. Why the name change to brain attack? Because it gives a sense of urgency to a disease that formerly had no immediate treatment and for many was a death sentence. Brain attack, if acted upon quickly enough, may actually be reversed in some patients in this age of thrombolytic therapy. But before one can treat a stroke, one must first recognize it. Anyone who presents with altered mental status and certainly any focal neurologic deficits should be screened for the presence of an acute stroke or brain attack. Perhaps the most common field assessment tool in use for acute stroke today is the Cincinnati Pre-Hospital Stroke Scale. It's really easy to do, involves no numbers or calculations, and assesses three easy steps on the patient. Speech, facial droop, and arm drift. When you're testing a patient's speech, have them say a common or an easy phrase like, today is a bright and sunny day. Try to notice any hesitancy in their speech, slurred or maybe difficult speech. Here it may be useful to have family or friends familiar with the patient to let you know just how far off from baseline they really are. When you're assessing facial droop, have the patient smile. Look for asymmetry on one side of the face or the other. And again, having someone familiar with the patient may be a useful resource to you. And finally, when you check arm drift, have the patient extend their arms fully forward, typically with the palms up, and with their eyes closed. And here is a very common rookie mistake when they do this test. They forget to have the patient close his or her eyes because then they can kind of look at their arms instead of testing sensory perception. What you're looking for for a positive test is with their eyes closed and arms extended, a little bit of that arm drift that's barely perceptible. If even one of these three tests are abnormal, then you may consider the test positive, highly suggestive of an acute stroke. If you want to document hand grip strength or lack thereof on your trip sheet, that's perfectly acceptable. Just don't say it's part of your Cincinnati scale because it's not. We should also probably mention some acute stroke mimics as there are some pretty bad fake outs out there. The most common one of which is hypoglycemia. So any patient with altered mental status and certainly one in which you suspect is having an acute stroke or brain attack should have a blood glucose assessment. EMS personnel must maintain a high index of suspicion for brain attack as your dispatch alarm will rarely come out as an acute stroke. You may be dispatched to an altered mental status patient, unresponsive person, OBS, or the proverbial sick case. Make the Cincinnati pre-hospital stroke scale a part of your altered mental status assessment and if brain attack is your final working diagnosis, make sure your patient gets to an appropriate stroke center as soon as possible. Time is brain. Thanks for watching. Be sure to know your local protocols and standing orders. Be safe out there and see you next time.